everybody welcome back to the channel today I have um, my it's kind of just a collective haul nothing crazy nothing big um, that I got when I was out of town on my little family vacation and it was my first time going into an Ulta and I was so excited so fun oh my gosh we live like basically two solid plus hours away from anything like an Ulta, no Victoria's Secret near us, no, like, no nothing, okay, we have Bath and Body Works, and that's pretty much it, um, <laughs> but, so, it was my first time going into an Ulta, which was pretty awesome, so I finally, finally got to smell so many perfumes that I've been wanting to get my nose on for so long, my husband did the same thing while we were in there, he was smelling away at all the, all the clones on the shelf that he could get his hands on, um, so yeah, we finally got to do that, and I'll share with you guys what I got, and like I said, I did not pick up anything crazy, but I got a couple good things. Um, I got some new gel polish. I got this color. It is, where is it? Very important pink, and um, I really like this one. Oh man, it's not showing like the exact color, but this is a really pretty little color. My camera is kind of washed out right now. It's a little darker pink, more like bubblegummy pink than, than what it's showing, really. Um, but, yeah, I really enjoyed this one, and I'm probably, yeah, I think tonight I'm going to do that. And then this is just the top coat. I needed a top coat. My other gel one was completely goopy, and the, um, the brush was actually crusted. So it had been that long since I had been... <laughs> been able to get my nails done or do my own nails I should say um and then I also picked up the tree hut vanilla moisturizing shave oil this is me and my husband's favorite my husband shaves his head um and I also picked up one in tropic glow yeah these are absolute favorite I ran out and had to use um shaving cream when we were on our trip and that was awful I had to go over my legs like three times in comparison to my once over with the shave oils so mm, so good if you have not yet tried the the shave oil you definitely should give it a shot and this is really nothing special it is a very basic very not super heavy vanilla scent I miss the Tahitian vanilla I'm not even gonna lie and I missed out on getting it when it was half off on the Ulta site it was sold out by the time I went to buy it so um, yeah but this will do. This is just more of a gourmand vanilla, where the Tahitian vanilla was more of a, more of a perfumey type of vanilla. I really liked it, though. Um, and then, so this is one of the perfumes. There were two perfumes that I absolutely fell in love with when I was there smelling things. Um, so many of them, I'm glad I finally got to smell because I was like, oh, it's. I'm glad I never actually spent the money on these because they wouldn't have been my favorite. Um, but this is one of them. Never mind the box. Uh, some tea spilled on it on their way home. But I picked up the Eilish perfume. Uh, the first one that she brought out. I really, I don't know. I did not want to love this perfume for some reason. I was just like, I don't want it. I don't want it. And, but then I finally smelled it in store. And I got myself the 3.4 because they had, um, was it three or five times points uh, when you purchase one of her perfumes and also a 10 off of 40 when you do buy online, pick up in store. And since I was in a town that had it, had an Ulta, I could do that and get another $10 off. So I got this for cheap, cheap and also a bunch of points. This is so good. Like, it is so good. It's got that little bit of spiciness to it. And this bottle is pretty bomb. I don't know. Some people don't like this bottle. I think it's kind of neat. But um, it's got that little bit of spice to it. So that I've been in search of a perfume. I'm like, I don't have any perfumes, really, that I think could go with so many of my mists that are, like, fall-style mists. And here she is. This right here. This went with Autumn Shore. Oh, my gosh perfection together they were so good together and um this with bonfire bash i've worn it it's so good um yeah i'm excited to keep mixing this with so many different things i have and i could definitely see myself flying through that perfume so that is everything that i picked up from ulta while i was in uh on on while i was in a town where they have one okay <laughs> and then I picked up a couple things from TJ Maxx. Um, this is the Bondi Sands uh, Self Tanning Face Mist. And this was $5.99. And then I opened it and saw that um, someone had like sprayed it. I cleaned it up now. 
because I had lost the receipt. I wasn't going to return it. But, like, inside of the box was all, had it everywhere. The cap was filled with it. I was like, oh, dear God. Should have checked it before I actually bought it. But, anywho, I got that. So, if anyone's tried this, because I haven't tried it on my face yet. I've been too scared to try it and break out. Um, let me know how it works. Or if it, like, makes you crazy looking. <laughs> Um, and then I got this Retinol Night Moisturizer, the Boots brand. This, I had tried this brand at, um, I had tried this brand at Target prior, and I don't know if it was, I don't think it was the Retinol Night Moisturizer. I think it was a different one, but I really like the brand, so I thought I'd pick that up. And then I also got, um, one of these little bento boxes for my, uh, uh, my son, he is starting pre-K this year. My son's school, unfortunately, one of the programs that they actually cut at the school was the lunch program. So I think that's just terrible because so many kids, there are so many kids who count on their school lunch to be there and to be fed breakfast and lunch at school. So it's kind of breaks my heart a little bit that they got rid of that um, program. But so I had to find something that would work for my son for school and I figured this might be the easiest. It comes with a spoon and a fork right in here. And then it has all these different little spots. So I figure I can give them a little bit of fruit, veggie, you know, crackers, main meal type of deal. Um, so I think I might actually pick up another one of these. And But it seems very, very, very secure. It was $9.99, but I feel like it's going to be worth it. It is actually quite quite secure um no I think it'll I think it'll work well um then at Sephora I was watching Shaughnessy's video and she talked about um whew, the skincare item I figured I would try this out it is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliants. It says it unclogs and shrinks in large pores, smooths and even skin tone, lightweight liquid absorbs quickly. I am very excited to try this. I deal with uneven skin tone. My pores, the older I'm getting, the more outrageous they're getting. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what this does for me, see if it helps my skin at all. And then I had a little birthday gift, and lo and behold, it was the last day to um, get my get my free birthday gift, which I didn't even know I was still so forget, but so they had this available. So I got this, the glow recipe. Um, it has the watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops and then watermelon glow PHA and BHA pore tight toner. Um, it has little travel sizes of those. Let me look at this. I'm curious now. Um, to see what they actually look like. I haven't taken it out yet. Oh, that's so cute. So I've been wanting to try some things from um, Glow Recipe, so I am happy to try these out. I don't know, but they're tiny, tiny little babies, but plenty enough to actually test out and see if I like them. And then um, for the free samples, I got the Burberry Hero. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is men, so I got that for my hubs to try out and see if he likes it. Um, and then... This, I don't know how this wound up in my cart, but it did. Oh, it's like another exfoliant thing my bobber. So, I have a few to try out now, so that's fine by me. And then also um, this, don't know how to say that, but um, Reservatrol Lift. <laughs> I got that in there, too. Uh, I don't really know what this is or what it actually does, but we'll find out. I'll try it out and we'll find out. Um, but I think that is everything. Yeah, I think that's everything. Oh if you guys are interested in seeing what I picked up from Marisa's, I got a couple cute things from there. That was interesting. That was my first um, my first time actually clothes shopping since I have lost a bunch of weight. Um, and yeah, I'm 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 trying to figure out like what size I'm supposed to be in now. Like you know, I'm trying to adjust to to uh, my body now versus my body 
post baby. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, if you want to see what I picked up from Maurice's and like a little try on haul, let me know down in the comments and I will put that together. Um, yeah. That's all the little goodies that I picked up. My random little bits and pieces of a haul that I got. Oh, you guys, um, I hope you all have a good evening wherever you're at and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.